Have you met anyone good? I don't even know how to fucking leg. So we're back in the desert, with, like we were with the Zico chain, but we, what we didn't have at the desert sessions before was... Something we have today, they're laughing. Queens of the Stone Age. Hello. Hello. Funny, funny. What I was going to say is that we were here last time you were here, mm -hmm. but you didn't do the crucial element of the game hide and seek, and that's go seek us out after we hit. <laughs> we did that for days. I don't even think he poor Troy, poor Troy was in this trailer for four weeks. <laughs> I ate all the mothballs in the closet. And he and he ate all the soup in there, but he had to make it first, if you know what I mean. What? How was your Coachella? My co I got here last night uh, for the Chili Peppers. My daughter just left, because she her cooks are her favorite band. So she saw them. And, um, and, um, uh, What's, what are we gonna, we're waiting for the Kaiser Chiefs, Chrissy Paxson, she wants to see Amos Lee, Kimberly Ness, that's Kimberly Stewart. Hello. Hey. Um, and um, this is the first festival I've ever been at that I haven't played. It's kind of First nice. ever? I've never been to a festival I haven't played. Why is it depressing? Because I'm not playing. Hey, me. Hey, hey. So how are you enjoying Coachella so far? I love it. You did because you did it. You played earlier on on there. Was it Mojave stage? So high stage, and it was stage, you couldn't go to stage all the time. You couldn't get near though. It was like, did you see quite how many people were there? Mm, yeah, I suppose so. It was, it was good. It was really nice. It was really nice. Because well, everything's kicking off for you, kind of in America as well. How do you find the crowds? are different from at home. They're American. Well, I don't really want girls. The dream is over for me, girls. But um, I just feel like I get along better with Brits to some degree, and also they've grown up on more sophisticated music, uh, well, other than Eurovision, and can play at a younger age. And you know, these are really sophisticated songs, with really sophisticated chord changes. So I just want the I want crazy horse level band. I want like the best fucking band. And then we're gonna do a small tour. We're gonna do London, LA, New York. <coughs> we might warm up in Manchester, and we're gonna play Paris. Cool. And are you gonna like like really small venues, like 400, 500 day before announcement, like get Simon Mayo or somebody announced it or Joe Wiley the day before. Simon Mayo. So I like Simon Mayo. Um, <laughs> I'll get it announced on Women's Hour. Well, this is Troy. Hi. I'm See, not hiding Wait, anymore. get get center onto this chair. Come over here. Right? Come over here. And you see why this chair is constructed. It gives you horns. Wow. Like, you know how Red Bull gives you wings? Well, this doesn't do that. I bet, you, I bet that was built with that in mind. Thing is, I believe that. Yeah, Hutch built this. Wow, Hutch. We met Hutch before. Hutch, Hutch also built this. This is what he calls hanging rock. I think the title's a bit confusing, but that's me. Show us, will you show us this tequila tree? Yeah, first I want to show you this hot tub. Actually, With a first, glitter ball in it. First, just for the readers. Oh, oh, oh. We're going to have to get into this later. Oh, that was the best horseshoe I've ever seen thrown. Every time. You play horse, every horseshoe time. throwing games. That's, um, that's amazing. It's better than the game of throwing up. This is a hot tub. And it's control. It's the water's heated by fire back here. Wow! I'm gonna Readers actually look at fire. Oh, there's no fire there. It remains of fire. But the one problem we get the idea. is that to heat up this amount of water by fire, you have to uh, you have to keep the fire going for almost two days, and so <laughs> and inevitably, inevitably after that kind of fire tending. Water gets too hot, and so you get in and flay the skin off yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but you can at least uh, have half of the disco in here if you choose. You don't have to have a whole disco. Yeah. When was the last time you were in this hot tub? Uh, probably about six months ago. You know, tending fire for that long takes a lot out of a man. <laughs> yeah. This is oh. the Patron bottle tree. It's actually a tree made of Patron. Bottles. Yeah, it's a thirsty group out here. How long do you reckon it takes to drink this much tequila? You know, um, because we like to, we enjoy people's company. Behind you over there is the uh, 
what most people call an outhouse, but because we like to try to include people in everything we do, it's an in-house. Mm. <laughs> but what goes on in the caravan? Uh, it stays in the caravan. <laughs> <laughs> It's a mini Vegas. Space. But let's take a quick look. If you could zoom in for me on uh, what where this trailer's actually been. Idaho, Utah, Rhode Island, Great Smoky Mountains, Kentucky, Tennessee. Lots of places. It would take a long time to say them all. It's been here too. And but let's get in tight on a place like Bratislava. Bratislava. Wow. That's where all these brats live. Fucking little shits. You know? <laughs> Can we watch it? Um, quite all the festivals could be really good. Uh, like I said, I can't say enough. I'm very lucky. Yeah. But at Glastonbury, have you got anything special planned? Not really. Have you? Um, go, I'll go and see your show. That should be a highlight. Um, that's the greater. That's the metropolitan city downtown of Joshua Tree. Wow. That's where all the uh, some of the world's hugest finance. There's Hutch right here coming in. In the hot rod! <laughs> Long time Satan worshipper, first time caller, Hutch. But she's a legend. He is. And that thing goes at like 160. We should have. Yeah, not right there. Seat are which direction from here did you grow up then? What's that? In which, which direction were you, did you live as a kid? Oh, when I lived here? Yeah. I lived over there by the monument. Wow. Uh, if you go, if you keep going towards there, you'll see a rental car with that guy in it. Uh, <laughs> uh, you, <laughs> <laughs> you get into the Joshua Tree National Monument, and uh, it's tits in there. So we went, have you been to the Integratron? Yeah, man. We went there last time. Yeah? Did you feel the vibe? Yeah, Did we traveled through time. Huh? We travel through time. Really? We, no. And you came, and what you realized is you only went ahead seven minutes. Yeah. So it's not a lot to learn. Best is what I've ever played. Um, one weird festival, one night in Ros in Roskilde in Holland. Nine Inch Nails played. Nirvana played. I played. Sonic Youth played. Pumpkins played. Um, every Mud Honey played. Um, it was like crazy 90s night. It was all in different rooms, and it was the night that Kurt, I was dating, still dating Billy, and Kurt and Dave wrote a big heart and ugly graffiti of me sucking Billy's dick. And, was, and then on the back of their lab coats, they had Courtney fucks Billy written, and were totally making fun of me all night. Um, but that's how I knew he had a crash on me. Finally, uh, I've always been at number two, number two, number two, but finally I'm number one, thanks to the fans, they did it, and it's a blessing. My first number one in the UK, it's great, it's a great feeling. Yeah, and this, the single itself isn't even out yet, it's still for download, exactly. so it makes That's it what it's brilliant to me, like, single isn't even out for sale yet, it's just off of digital downloads, which is amazing. That means a lot of people downloaded it, so thank you to everyone out there who downloaded the song. I'm very lucky I get to do loads of stuff and I'm very lucky that I get to play on the same field as other people. I didn't get to see Arts Monkeys tonight but um, I think the next three years. Kings are now in yeah, We just went and saw Jesus in the Mary Chain. Like stuff, yeah. Do you reckon Arctic like, Monkeys all because like, of like the headlining like, just after two albums, it's like do you, do you think they'll pull it off? I suppose so. It's not really fast, it'll be the nice whatever. Cool, okay. And are you gonna hang, hang around at hang around at Coachella for the rest of the week? We can. Uh, no, I've got, I've got stuff to do. Well, where's next? Uh, where are we going? New York. New York. Hello again. <laughs> Hello. That was that was like grown up world, wasn't it? You've just played Radio One, big thing. How was it for you? Uh, we have come of each. Yeah. That was great. It was a great gig. You know what I'm saying? We were playing in a, well, a bunch of, we are by far the heaviest band on the bill, but we felt as though we belonged, it was cool. Did you try and make people cry like you did at Block Party? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. No, we, uh, we always try and let people learn a wee bit of mathematics while we play, you know, so if you choose to learn, great, if you don't, you'll still enjoy it. 
It's very edgy. The entire album is really edgy. Every song has 